6 and um, 8 bit Mega Man games that came out for the Nintendo Entertainment System and have, they have been lovingly restored in high definition for the, to the enjoyment of all PlayStation 4 owners and Xbox One, assuming that's available on that format. Now, uh, now as, as most of you would, <laughs> would have already figured out by now with this, uh, with some of the streams that I've already done, I've got a bit of a thing for uh, retro games and uh, games that inspire a bit of nostalgia, and Mega Man certainly, for, certainly fulfills that, uh, that category. Uh, I remember, remember playing the first Mega Man game when I was 10 years old, and I was and I was really blown away by how much it was like Mario, but it had its very own distinct flavour and, um, and format. So. Uh, this particular title is Mega Man. Oh, God damn it! Sorry. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, and what blew me away was about Mega Man the first time was the fact that the fact that Mega Man had his own energy bar as opposed to uh, Mario, who only had to be hit twice before he lost a life, and the fact that every time you beat a boss, you were able to use their weak, use their main weapon. Uh, to your advantage, so that uh, you could uh, take on other bosses. Now, this particular title I'm playing is Mega Man 2, which is considered one of the one of the best Mega Man games in the series. And I am playing the Quick Man stage, I think. And I just died. <laughs> and uh, but <sighs> but uh, one thing one thing I love about the Mega Man, one thing I love about Mega Man. Collection is that aside from the fact that it's the first uh, six Mega Man, Mega, Man, Mega Man games, it's also got some uh, fantastic, fantastic collection of concept art and character designs along with a database, so it can help you keep uh, track of all the uh, all the enemies you'll come across as well as the bosses, and it gives you some uh, some tips as to the uh, potential uh, weaknesses that you'll be facing. Um, but unfortunately. Uh, it, uh, it reveals everything all in one hit, which I think is a bit of a downer because uh, I would have liked to have seen uh, Capcom or Capcom and Digital Society uh, add some incentive to unlocking uh, character art concepts and concept art because I think that would have given a bit more incentive for, for players to, um, to, to play the game. And I've just got a game over and I'm not going to play that stage, so I'm going to play another one. This is for Metal Man. And I've got one viewer, so hello to whomever you may be. Stages, whichever order stages you wanted to do. Uh, 
uh, which uh, gave the game a, a bit of variety in the way you could approach it, but at the same time, there was a bit of strategy involved in that, in that you had to figure out, if you were able to figure out which robot buster was, was weak to which weapon, you could get through the game a lot faster, but by virtue of being able to pick, being able to go against, being able to pick the right robot buster first, so that you could use the best weapon. And that was not supposed to happen.
characters in Mega Man. Um, again, it's it's really good that they've got the it's, it's really good that they have these characters, uh, all this artwork available. But at the same time, I think it's a little bit uh, disappointing that they released all of it all of it so early uh, because. <laughs> Because it's, uh, I think if they'd if they'd have um, made the artwork an unlockable for completing certain levels and stages, uh, that would have uh, given the game a bit more incentive to uh, to uh, do incentive for people to play so that they can unlock, unlock all the characters. So we'll go through each of the characters category. So you got production art, which is all the the various. Uh, Artwork that was used to help the designers in developing the game. Uh, character files, and again, this is more um, this is more more artwork connected to uh, connected to uh, helping the producers and designers in putting the game together. Concept art, so concept art is pretty self-explanatory. This is early designs, early designs and concepts for what they wanted to uh, achieve. Then we've got unused boss sketches. So here we have Bark Barugaman, which is uh, obviously a Capcom's version of Cyborg from the DC Universe. Boomerang Man, who would actually come back in one of the later Mega Man games. And then we've got Bubble Man, an early version of Bubble Man, Drill Man, who, who I think also comes back in a later Mega Man game. Elephant Borg. Uh, we can see they are a very early uh, predecessor to the type of uh, robot masters that would be that would come up in the Mega Man X series. And okay, Green Man, obviously a, a prototype to Wood Man. But, uh, but it's good to it's good that they've got these unused boss sketches because this will give you a good idea of uh, of, of the plan, of the process that uh, the creators went to to uh, to plan uh, Mega Man. Promotional Mortal Force of Man. That sounds pretty cool. And Promotional Man uh, promo promo artwork, which is uh, uh, obviously promotional materials for when you uh, bought a Mega Man title. Now, one really cool thing about the Legacy Collection, and I'll go back to the main menu. Is that if you go to the options, you can change to Rock Man. That does is that it changes all the all the titles to the original uh, to the original Rock Band series that would appear in uh, Mega Man uh, to the original versions. Oh, sorry, sorry guys. And what's really cool about this is that you can play the the original Japanese versions of of the uh, of the Mega Man games and um, a lot of people ask about, about the differences differences between Rock Band and, Lega, and Mega Man and there are a number of uh, notable differences uh, the first one is with the health meter the the uh, Rock Band was considerably harder uh, in that uh, in that health in that uh, health pickups uh, didn't uh, replenish as much energy as um, as the as the uh, as Mega Man uh, enemy placement uh, was also was also different, and and also the the uh, the boss the boss patterns were also um, were also uh, quite notable. Now, one thing I do want to point out, and I really hope it's in here. They got more character files, concept art. Is that if you look, if you look at this particular uh, poster for Mega Man, it contains the now infamous uh, cover art that was used for the uh, US edition of Mega Man when it first uh, when it was first released. Uh, it's considered one of the worst covers in gaming history. And what we do? Uh, okay, now what are we? Oh, 
here. Oh, here's an interesting, uh, another interesting factoid I've come across on my notes, is that you can buy uh, Mega Man Legacy for Collection for the 3DS, and it comes with a gold amiibo, which is, uh, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, okay, but uh, now just going over my notes in more detail. Um, now some of the differences between playing Mega Man and Rock Man is that you've got enemy placement, there's differences in damage, uh, items are located in different places. Um, Mega Man 2, um, Mega Man 2 had a difficulty level uh, choice, whereas in um, <coughs> whereas uh, Rock Man is automatically on is automatically on difficult mode. We also have uh, a number of other other differences. I won't spoil it because that would uh, that would just ruin the fun for everybody. Although one thing that I thought that blew me away when I played Rock Band for the first time is that I was so used to seeing the Mega Man title, but when you play Rock Band, it contains this this title screen. Which is very different to what we saw, what everyone outside of Japan saw. Now these three games, so you see we've got Rock Man 4, 5 and 6. Now I haven't actually played Mega Man 4, 5 and 6 because by the time those games came out uh, in Australia, <laughs> by the time those games came out in the West, Australia was already well into the 16-bit uh, the era of Super Nintendo and Mega Drive, so interest in the uh, NES and in the NES was uh, slowly decreasing, uh, which is a real shame because uh, a lot of these, uh, a lot of these three titles were pretty, uh, were pretty cool. But uh, you know, in fact, I haven't played one of these maps. Uh, played one of these, so I'm giving it a crack. Now, it is Rock Band 4, so I'm pretty, I've am pretty much accepted that this is going to be an absolute ball breaker for the first time. Now I can, I can read some of this, but unfortunately this is going a little t is the kanji is a little bit too uh, uh, too compressed for me to make out Thank <laughs> you. 
idea. Yeah, why not?